What's going on y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I got a super good video coming at you today. It's going to be the five things that are stopping your progress in the gym. No, if you've been working out, if you've been putting in work, if you've had a goal set for you this upcoming year and you haven't been seeing the progress that you want to see, it may be because of these five things right here and we're going to dive into it. Number one, and you've probably heard this one before, is the ego lifting. And you may not think that this is you, but trust me, guys especially, we ego lift a lot. The ego training, the trying to do what you did in football practice 15 years ago, or trying to do you know, uh, what your homeboy did or what somebody that you know uh, what they can do. You're trying to lift that weight or you're trying to uh, run that distance or, or move at that speed. Uh, and reality is, if you're not there, you're not there. And that's one thing where people really struggle at. That's why so you see so many people in the gyms January 1st and uh, they are going hard and they're pushing themselves to what they think is their limit but in reality they're just not there right now and you have to be able to work from where you currently are establish your baseline figure out where you are right now and work from that don't go into the gym with ego because you will be humbled you'll pull something break something sprain something or you'll just be extremely extremely sore to the point where you can't even work out for the next couple of weeks and you'll just repeat that cycle, become afraid of, you know, working out and exercising or always end up on the injury list because you're ego lifting. So we got to stop that. Number two is going to be program hopping. This is you buy the, the next fancy workout ebook that you see and you follow along with those workouts for a couple of days or you're on Instagram following along and you're, you're piecing together your workout every single day based on what you saw on Instagram or on TikTok or something like that. And the reality is you have to stay consistent with something over a prolonged period of time. You have to progress in your lift or in your training uh, to really promote muscle growth. Uh, what happens is your body needs to first off you need structure in terms of hitting each muscle group at least two times a week. If you're looking for a lot of growth, it needs to be closer to three, maybe even four. Uh, and you also need to be able to do that over a prolonged period of time for a shoulder press, for instance, if you really want to work on your shoulders. You're needing to hit your shoulders at least two to three times a week. And let's say you're doing shoulder press. You need to progress from doing 15 pounds to go on to 17.5 and then 20 and then 22.5 and then 25. Like you need that consistent progression uh, because not only is that going to help you build that strength, but it's also going to help you uh, build and strengthen and define that muscle group that you're wanting to work on. And if you do that throughout the entire course of your body, that is what, you know, promotes real change and real growth not program hopping to the point where your muscles don't get adequate training and you don't get the chance to really progress at something. And number three is not utilizing the mind-muscle connection. This one is definitely not as easy as it sounds. You probably have heard this if you've been training or working out for any amount of time. This is something that we're constantly uh, trying to help our Hustle Fit Academy members figure out, but it is so, so important. You have to be able to see and feel the muscles that you're working. If you're doing a glute workout or a quad workout or whatever, can you actively feel that muscle contracting and extending? Can you feel the tension in that muscle? Because if you can't, chances are you're not utilizing that. So that's why mind-muscle connection is so important. And a lot of that just comes down to really focusing on your workout while you're working out. Don't be on the phone, you know, texting friends, on Instagram, whatever it is, Focus and lock in on that workout while you're there uh, and really try to lock in on, first off, understand what exercise you're doing, what muscle group that that's uh, focusing on. Uh, and then from there, you got to really lock in and make sure that you are prioritizing and putting the tension where the tension needs to be and being conscious of it throughout the entire lift. Four, and this is going to be a big one, if you've been consistent, if you've been putting in the work and you, let's say you haven't been doing any of the three previous things that we've talked about, you've had uh, your you know program on point, you've had your mind muscle connection on point, and you haven't gone in there with ego, deload and recovery or maintenance weeks are super, super important. Our body needs rest, our body needs time to recoup. You can't train you know, 12, 24, uh, 36 weeks straight of hard, intense exercise and not have a real recovery regimen. It is super, super important. That's when our body, like you're, you're sometimes you're gonna need times and we program this in our Hustle Fit Academy after about uh, 12 to 18 weeks or so, 
you're gonna have a full week off, maybe even a couple weeks, just depending on how much you're lifting, how intense your training program is, because your body needs that. Your body needs to be able to take a break sometimes. You need to be able to rest and recoup uh, because you may see a small decrease uh, in your lean muscle mass if you take you know a one or two week break but overall in the long run it's going to help you heal up it's going to help those tendons joints ligaments uh, get where they need to be it's going to help you be able to push harder than you would have if you just never ever took a break it's super important the best athletes in the world all take one two sometimes even three or four weeks off from resistance and weight training, cardio training, and things like that every single year, and you can do it too, and you should do it too. The last and final piece, and this is probably the most important, this is probably where 95% of everybody that's not hitting their goals in the gym are falling into, half-assing your workouts. This is a huge one right here. Even if you've got the perfect training program, even if you've got a coach pushing you, even if you have everything else lined up, if you're going in that gym and you are giving it a half-assed effort, if you're not putting in the work that you know that you're capable of, you're not going to see the results. If you're just trying to check things off the list, oh, three sets of 10, let me do three sets of 10 real quick, okay, next thing. Like, if that's all you're doing, you are not, and I repeat, not going to make progress. All you're doing is wasting your time in the gym, you're wasting your money if you've paid for an ebook or a coach or a program. like. You are wasting valuable time and valuable resources if you're going in there and not giving it uh, your all for that particular workout. I'm not saying that you have to give it 110% effort every single day because honestly that's not possible in your training and you shouldn't train like that, but you need to give 100% effort to each individual rep you have, each individual set you have. You need to focus and lock in on it uh, because it's one thing to work out, it's another thing to train. If you're going in there and you're just half fast and exercises, you're just working out, you're just exercising. We need you to train with a goal and a purpose and something in mind to work towards and work after, not just check. Let's say squat over my four plus years of training in the gym, one-on-one, -on -one, group training, online coaching now. Uh, these are the five biggest deterrents of people getting the results that they want in their efforts in the gym. All of these things can move the needle for you, but you really gotta be introspective and figure out which one of these you're messing up on the most. I want you to comment below and let me know which one of these areas you feel like you really need the most help in uh, because I definitely would like for you to hold yourself accountable uh, and make sure that you lock in to these exact strategies to make sure that you get the most out of your training. We've also got a couple of spots inside our Hustle Fit Academy. If you're really looking to take things to the next level and you really want that knowledge, necessary for you to get where you need to be to stop half-assing in the gym to understand my muscle connection to stop ego lifting and stop program hopping if you want that for yourself so that you can create your transformation click the first link down in the description and apply for the hustle fit academy and i'll see you on the inside